Hey guys, it is that panda guy. I'm here again with another video, and today I'm gonna be going over Lee. He is an amazing hero in my opinion, and I think he's a really good field hero, if anything. So definitely props to Lee. Definitely recommend him. Um, and I'm gonna just hop right into this and start explaining his skills and all that. So first off, when explaining Lee, I kind of actually want to say that if you're going to invest in his skills and you're going to be using him as a, you know, a combat hero, which is what almost everybody would be using him for, I would go one, three, four, two in that order. I would not be investing in the two because it is more of a zombie skill than anything. But yeah, uh, the first skill, you know, is just like kind of like Lewis's first skill where it requires rage to launch and it's... Just, you know, non-passive skill that isn't just, like, thrown into you when you start. So, basically, the rage required is 1,000 per, per usual. It pitches a spinning ball, a fastball, dealing damage to up to five targets in a fan-shaped area in front. So, I kind of want to actually, like, say he's j like Lewis, right, in this aspect, except his AoE isn't a full circle. So, if you look at Lewis's first skill, it deals um, up to... Deals damage up to five squads in a circular area and then it does 12k damage. You know, he has really good skill damage. I want to mention like Lewis has insane skill damage and you see like the thing is uh, Lee isn't weak, right? But you see his skill damage is cut in half than um, Lewis's and I also want to mention that of course my my damage factor is higher than most people's because my heroes are maxed out, but it's still kind of relevant, right? So you see um it, it basically does AoE in front of him. It isn't a circular one. And I also want to mention this. I was talking to my friend Shelby. And basically, he had uh, he had mentioned that if you're, like, let's say, using Lee on your wall. If you're going to be hitting a base that has Lee on the wall, you're going to want to use your main attack. Let's say your tank. Send it an attack from the front of the base. And then send four marches behind the base. It's so easy to counter an AoE damage like this by just hitting the base from the back. So, yeah. Second skill, increases squads, damage to zombies by 25%, and heals some lightly wounded units after killing zombies. And I just I just don't care for this skill. Uh, I mean, only when I'm farming zombies. And I mean, I'd prefer to get his other skills up first before I thought about doing this one. That's one big mistake I made. I mean, I was earlier out on my alt and I focused on it. And it was just rough. I mean, now I'm kind of stuck with a half-ass half, half -ass skill. His third skill is actually a really important skill. And it's called when leading two or more troop types increases squad attack by 24%. You can also see it goes up with each level. So I level it up to five for 24%. But if you have it at one, it's 8%. Uh, two, it's 10%. Three, it's 12%. Four, it's 17%. I'm going to give you guys an example right here on the field. Uh, actually, no, I don't have my marches home. Give me a sec. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest. My, my, <laughs> I honestly might not want to use Tom with Lee. Tom would probably be preferably a leader, but that's not the point. Here you're going to see um, me, you know, attacking something, right? And basically what I do is I send 2.8K uh, or whatever infantry, and then I send these other two troop types. And I probably could send one, you know, one range, one um, siege. I just send 4,000. So, I mean, honestly, you don't have to take after that part. But just sending more than one troop type goes goes crazy right so like i would send like a thousand of range a thousand of like riders right with my lee because it gives you that extra uh, troop attack so you really got to consider that stuff when you're looking at hero skills i feel like that kind of thing is overlooked so much and actually doing that kind of thing with your troop march is just a need to do um we're gonna look at his last skill here reduces counter damage taken by 14 percent increases rally capacity by 12 percent i personally don't use league as a rally leader but if he's like your best leader or your best hero you might want to use him as a rally leader so he's not the worst he doesn't um and like you know make the rally capacity bigger as well as reduce um counter damage taken and i'm not really like, I think that's just damage in general, but it might be like um, if you hit someone, they counter damage you. I think this can also be considered like uh, Rise of Kingdoms, right? I don't know if people know who Attila Takeda is, but he's basically a counter damage hero. And basically what happens is when you're hitting him, he sends so and so much damage back onto the person from what you did to them. So he basically reduces any counter damage that a hero 
might have in their skills or in their talents, whatever it is. We're going to look at the last thing, which is basically having him awakened every uh, skill maxed out. And it pitches a spinning fastball. Yeah, so it's basically the first skill, right? I'm actually kind of confused here. Right. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think I actually know what this is. I think it upgrades your damage factor for your overall skill, right? That or it, like maybe doubles i don't really understand this skill too much but i'm guessing um that it's gonna just up your skill damage and all that because let me actually look yeah okay so my bad guys basically before you have the thing awakened the skill damage is 3.4 thousand i think so it's gonna be 3,400, and then after you awaken it it's gonna be 4,000. 600 uh, skill damage for your skill so yeah that's basically what the awaken does it just puts up your skill damage more on that specific skill. So I do hope this video helped. I mean, I was blabbing a little bit, but you know, I hope the advice helps you guys get along in the game and improve your marches and all that. So you guys have a good day and peace out.